hello, darlings. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. You're just as lovely as you used to be. But it's time for you to go. That's pissing them off. They don't hear like we do. They pick up on vibrations. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know that's vibrating. Yeah, but... Honestly, I don't think these bees knock on wood are that mean. <laughs> right. How you know where it's at? Huh? How you know where it's at? Well, I can see the combs. Oh, okay. And the ones on the hive, they just all chill, huh? Mm-hmm. And these bees have been in this thing, from what I'm being told, a couple of years or so, and it's looking like it. So, yep, they got it going on in there, folks. Let's see if we can pull some comb sections out and uh, frame them up and get this ball rolling, okay? Let's see what we can do here. Woo! They're a little bit on edge, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely a little worked up here. It's a big colony. Yeah, let's see if I can get this out here now. A lot of friggin' wires. Oh boy, wires, hoses. Ooh. Yeah, we might not have as much usable comb as I was hoping, folks. Let's see if I can get this piece out. Oh boy. Oh man. Let me let me show you what I'm looking at here. Okay. All right. You see that? See that flexible hose? There's uh, some, uh, another hose, a clear hose. It looks like a wire packet. Help me! And you got all this stuff over here. It was 47 degrees this morning, so we we started this around 11:30. Let it warm up some. I don't know what it is now. Uh, probably in the 60s. Let's see here. Mm. Yeah. Well, I always give them drawing frames for drawing comb from another hive, you know? Wow, what a disaster down in there it is, though. So this is the fun we're dealing with so far, folks. Okay? Yeah, look look at all this. Hoses. Wire packets. So clear tube down there. Electrical outlet. Yeah, it's got it all, folks. It's got it all. <laughs> so that's just drone glue right there. That's not usable. And it's coming out in weird shaped pieces because of all the hoses and wires and stuff that uh, the comb was built around. Yep. Nasty, folks. Nasty. Alright folks, so it's that time of the year, early spring, and you can see these uh, queen cups right here, alright? These gals here, I would guess, are probably not too far from throwing off a reproductive swarm. It's a big hive with lots of numbers, so I'm going to assume that they have not swarmed yet. First swarm would be the prime swarm that has the mated queen, and you'd probably get anywhere from two to four after swarms, okay? After that, those after swarms are swarms that get progressively smaller in size, but they all have queens, sometimes multiples. 
So uh, this colony right here hypothetically could have swarmed you know, up to four or five times infiltrating the area. And usually they're left with a small population or some kind of population. Usually it's greatly reduced. A queen, a virgin queen that has to get mated. And uh, if she's lucky, they continue on. And uh, they usually have no problem getting mated here. We finally got some usable comb. I may not be able to frame up a lot of this stuff, but at least what I frame up will draw them, attract them to our setup. And that's what we want. All right, folks, we are getting down to the nitty gritty. So it looks like uh, these last little bit of comb here, it, uh, it's light. There's not much going on with it. But, uh, you know, a queen's gotta be somewhere. And there's all kinds of places for them to hide in there. So, man, I would love to get lucky right now and run across her. That way I can cage her and then, uh, you know, run these bees out and uh, they'll go into our setup. I mean, they may go in anyway. We'll figure this out one way or another, but uh, it sure would be nice to to spot her. Probably call a shall we too. You probably tell me, tell me they're over there because that's where the most bees are. All right. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake this outside and see if I can't spot her. There's a lot of bees here. Be, that'll be the easiest thing. Let me just uh, take this outside. There's uh, not a whole bunch of comb left in here now at this point. So, uh, let me go do this. Alright. Get these off here. Maybe get lucky and spot a queen. I don't know. Go ahead. Talk to you in just a minute. I do not see the queen in there. I didn't think she was going to be in there, but... Yeah, well, I promise you the bees have been here at least three years. I can tell you that as a matter of fact. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. These di these didn't show up, you know, last week. You want to come see what it looks like? Let me move the camera out the way real quick. So, what do you think of this? I think it's amazing that you're able to do this. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen people do this up front, you know, like this. I've never seen so many bees 
So this compartment right over here, okay, that one right there was full of comb. The plywood, I had to take it off in pieces because the comb was attached to it. See all that comb right there? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And, it was and, a big... Oh, yeah. It was, it was all up in here. It went across the top of the uh, tank and then some of it came down on the back end. I'm, I'm just glad for this board right here. That that wasn't open. If that was open, it would have continued on that way, and that would have just been that would have been the end of this today. I probably would have taken a break to come back tomorrow or something. Oh wow! All right, folks, we've gotten all that comb out, so we're gonna try to run the mess of bees that are in that compartment. It is a mess of them. We're gonna try to run them out with the repellent. We're not gonna try. We're gonna do it. Sorry, right, folks. We are now going to use Honey Bee Gone, our repellent, to run the bees that are in the compartment. And there's a whole mess of them, okay? We're going to run those out. And you should see them start to pile out of here. Once I spray and they start running, I'm going to be looking for our queen, see if we can't ca catch her and cage her. All right? So, here we go. Okay, so now they're, they're running out of that compartment that they were in. Let's see where they're going. Looks like they're going to run this way, which is fine. And then what I'll do is I'll, well, what I'll do, I'll, I'll put a few drops of repellent. I'll kind of line this, the interior wall right here. And that should get them running. If they get hung up, then we'll use the smoker. And, uh, but this is going to work out. But that's a lot of bees. It's a decent bit anyway. I don't know if there's space between the tank and the wall. That's the only thing. But I think once we get the majority going... I think it's the rest will follow. Kind of like monkey, see monkey do. I'm just going to use a little bit. All right. We're going to see if we can get these girls out of here. All right. I'm just I'm trying to run them out right now. Like I said they're being a little stubborn, but I put that repellent. Well, here we go. Here's a group of bees over here. All right. And we'll pull up them over here by this tire. And I just saw it, folks. Let me see if we can't uh, get her. Let's see. Here. There she is, right there. See that? There she is, folks. There she is. All right, there's our queen. All right, she's in my hand now. There's Queenie. As the footage dictates, we got her. She's in the box. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and be a little aggressive with what's left in here. I'll smoke them some more, a little more repellent. And then we're going to move the trailer back and uh, move the table and everything. And let me just show you something. Let me show you why you don't leave a job like this, okay, before dark. Especially if uh, you're having to move the hive or the thing that they're in. And the pop-up camper was right here. Okay, let me show you what we got, okay? This is just forages that are confused. And look, they're still they're flying all around. So, yeah, that's probably, uh, that might be a pound of bees. I don't know. A pound of bees, you know, but like 3,000 bees. So we got a big group of them. Okay, this is what's confused. Whew. All right, folks, well, got it done. Got the pop-up camper, pretty much in the same spot it was earlier today. A little group of bees that were hanging on to the awning. I took some handfuls of those and threw them on the table. So those are orienting. We're gonna leave the setup here. And uh, tomorrow, that little, what's left, they'll go ahead and orient and whatever's in the, the pop-up camper should come out. And uh, they're, they're hold, held up a little bit just because the temperatures dipped a little bit. So I'm going to leave the setup here overnight. So tomorrow they should orient to the setup 
But tomorrow night they should all be in the box, and I'll come by tomorrow night, pick them up, and then uh, we'll bring them to the bee yard. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Another one from JP the Bee Man. Hope y'all having a fantastic day, because you know I am.